Hello and God bless you young people. My name is Reverend Jared Reed Smith and I'm a minister here at the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church where my pastor is Dr. Johnny Calvin Smith. God bless you young people and thank you for joining me on today for your Sunday school lesson. I'm excited. This is a very familiar lesson. I hope that you all can enjoy it. Oh, before we get into it, I want to remind you uh, make sure that you're always doing those three things. Remember to read your Bible daily. Remember to pray every day. And remember to do those good things at school, at home, in the neighborhood, wherever. Do things that are pleasing to God. I always want to remind you on Wednesday night at 6 p.m., we do have a Bible study. There is a link in the description of this video where you can join us via Zoom. God bless you. Let's get into the lesson. But before we do, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we say thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for these young people. Lord, I pray that you please keep them safe and just help them to always know that you love them and you're right there with them. In Jesus' name I do pray, amen. Young people, our lesson for today comes from the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter six is in the Old Testament. Joshua chapter six, verses two through four, and then verses 12 through 20a. Our lesson topic is the fall of Jericho. Our big idea of the lesson is following God's instructions show that you trust him. Our golden text scripture says, Joshua said unto the people, shout, for the Lord hath given you the city. So in our lesson for today, we're going to learn, we're going to continue this journey. The children of Israel are to take over this land called Jericho. The only issue is there is a huge wall that is keeping them from this land. It was finally time for God's people uh, to take over this piece of the promised land. God was going to give them this land, but first they had to defeat the people in this city. And remember, I told you that there were these tall walls that was surrounding the city. How are how is Joshua and God's people going to break through these big walls. How is that going to happen? Don't you know that this wall was like a protection for the people of Jericho? How was Joshua going to make it? Well, I'm going to tell you how. God had a plan. God had a plan and God always has a plan for his people. But in order for the plan to come through, the people were going to have to trust God. But here's a little secret about God's plan. His plan did not make a lot of sense. That means it didn't seem like it was going to work. That's what I mean by it didn't make sense. He told Joshua to have the army of the people to walk around the city once a day for six days. So think about marching around your house, right? And, and the Lord says, and this is not going to happen for you, but just think about it if you want to make sense out of it. Or think about, let's think about if you live in a gated community or you march around your house or something like this. And the Lord said, march around it for one time for six days. And then on the seventh day, you're going to march around it for seven times and you're going to scream and the walls are going to come tumbling down. Well, that's what God asked for them to do. So on day one, two, three, four, five, and six, the people are supposed to walk around the city one time. It didn't make a lot of sense, right? They have this huge wall. Now, you would have thought that God would say, hey, make sure y'all bring some tools, right? Maybe get some metal objects. That's how we're going to break into this wall. Get, some, I don't know, some rocks or something. This is how we're going to break down the wall. No, God said, just walk around it for one time for six days. And then on the seventh day, which is like the biggest day, I want you to march around it seven times. Now, it wasn't like this was some huge wall. Uh, the Bible really doesn't tell us, the Bible tells us, I'm sorry, that the Bible tells us that this is, wasn't a huge uh, walk. This wasn't a very humongous walk. But what they had to do is just trust God. Now, if you are like me, you probably would try to get ahead. Like, okay, so he tells me to walk around this wall one time for six days. Why don't I walk around it six times on one day and then I'll be ahead of it? But remember, we, when we are following God, when we're obeying God, when we're trusting God, we have to do exactly what God wants for us to do. So what was 
the way that they were going to take over this land. What were, how were they going to conquer? How were they going to take over this land with this huge wall? God said for the people to walk around for six days, for on those six days, walk around it one time. And he says, don't worry about nothing else. Just do it one time and then go back to the camp. On the next day, go back again one time and then go back to the camp. And so they were supposed to do that for six days. These instructions are very strange because he said on the seventh day, go around there seven times. Then there was supposed to be a loud shout. And then when the people shouted, then they were supposed to, the, the walls were just going to come down. Those instructions were very strange, but Joshua trusted God. He knew God's word was true because God already promised him in chapter one, uh, in our lesson from two weeks ago, God had already promised him that he was going to be uh, successful. That means that he was going to be able to capture this land. So God had already kept his word and so Joshua had to be obedient. So on the first day, Joshua got ready to follow God's battle plan. The people were all in place and they followed God's plan exactly. And they did this for six days. Finally, it was the last day and God's people walked around Jericho seven times. And on the seventh time, there was the blowing of trumpets and Joshua told the people to shout and yell and the people did that and God gave them the land. Somehow, some way, when the people begin to shout, as all the people shout, the walls of Jericho came falling down. God's people just walked right into the city and they took over it. How were they going to get into this city that had these huge walls? They just had to trust God and accept what God wanted them to do. Joshua showed that he trusts God by following God's instructions. And that's how we show trust in not only people that we know, but really we trust God when we follow what he has for us to do. It's just like with your parents. We show respect and we show honor and respect to our parents by doing what they ask us to do. That shows that we trust them. So we do the same thing with God. If he's asked us to do something, we ought to trust him and obey him and, and help us. And he will help us to understand that that is the way that he wants us to be. We have to trust him and obey him because he gives us instructions. Where can you find God's instructions? I'm glad you asked. You say, well, Reverend Jared, where can I find them? His instructions are in the Bible. That's how we know what we're supposed to do in our life by following his word in the Bible. His, his word tells us how we should live, how we should act, how we should treat each other. So we show respect and we show honor and love to our heavenly father who is God by obeying his word. God bless you, young people. I hope you learned something from this lesson. I pray you have a great week.